Elizabeth Warren uh, ran on the most progressive economic and racial justice platform in our country's history. Uh, she is uh, she's now saying that Biden needs to bypass Congress and unilaterally impose the progressive wish list. Uh, she is uh, saying here are the bold steps the new administration can take with without uh, uh, using the Congress and using existing legal authority. Cancel billions of dollars in student debt, giving tens of millions of Americans an immediate financial boost. Lower drug prices for millions by producing key drugs like insulin, uh, etc. Uh, uh, at low cost using existing compulsory licensing authority that allows the federal government to bypass patents for pressing public health needs. So now she's, she's, she's suggesting that the country that invented the patent, if there was a patent for patents, we would own it. Benjamin Franklin, it is the key that unleashes the free market. It is the key that unleashes unleashes people's ideas. It gives them hope that they will be able to profit over an idea. These ideas that went from fire, cooking things on fire, to the electric stove, to lights, to cars, all of that happened because of the patent. People had these ideas, but nobody would do it. Nobody wanted to do it because they knew the Lord and the lady would take the the idea and steal it from them. And all the lords and the... We have lords and ladies now. We have princes and kings and royalty. It's called people in power. We have rulers now in America. You don't think that they're going to take your idea and make sure you're in poverty, but they're not? Of course, that's the story of human existence. And that's exactly what she's suggesting. There's patents on these things, and the United States government should just take those patents and make them themselves. So now you have the government making drugs. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. When one of these drugs goes bad, who's going to police it? Who's going to? Who's even going to report on it? You don't even have the press as a shield anymore. Anyway, so uh, lower the drug prices. Um, issue enforceable OSHA health and safety standards for COVID-19. Uh, so companies don't escape accountability for workplace conditions that expose workers to serious harm and even death. You're not going to have a business open in America. You will not have a business open in America. If you can hold the the employers responsible for anybody who gets sick. By the way, could I just ask this question? Stu, help me out on this one. Sure. Um, New York and California, not really out of lockdown, are they? <laughs> barely. Okay, I mean, barely really out of lockdown. Yeah. I mean, nobody, I've seen all of the stores... You know, in New York and California, they're, pra- they're practically all of them are boarded up. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going anywhere in those two states. How is it that they're starting to have this huge second wave? How's that possible? They're all wearing masks. They all have mask mandates. Yeah. The How ma- is that possible? Well, here's the thing. Mask mandates don't do much of anything. No, no, no. No, uh, no the government. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's no. amazing. Even when It's funny because even when you look at the percentage of people using masks, the difference between mask mandate states and non-mask mandate states, there's very little difference between them. People wear them if they want to wear them, and they don't if they don't. And the mandate, you know, government telling you, who leads the government in this country? Is it us leading them, or are they leading us? Oh, well, Fauci said it's time to do what you're told. <laughs> so yeah. he said, Americans have this free entrepreneurial spirit, but now it's time to do what you're told. I, look, what's what's happened uh, now twice in, in with this pandemic is when people get freaked out enough about it, they start changing their behavior and it goes away. That is what's happened already twice and mm-hmm. probably will happen here a third time mm-hmm. if people get really freaked out about it. Mm-hmm. If it stays in a level where people are are, it's not hitting them really hard, then they probably won't. That's the way this is going to happen. It, it has nothing to do with what the government is telling everyone. Okay. They they know they they know these steps. Everyone knows what you're supposed yeah. to do. Yeah.
Yeah, they do. They do. And uh, but now we're going to have if if Elizabeth Warren gets her way, OSHA is going to get involved. Oh, great. Uh, she also says raise the minimum wage for all federal contractors to $15 an hour. That's sweet. Um, mm. Center racial equity by building on Biden and Harris's commitment to establish a wraith- racial and ethnic disparities task force. And collect and report COVID-19 data, review all racial disparities in pandemic funding, declare the climate crisis a national emergency. Didn't we say they would do that? Once they declare that a national emergency, they can do whatever they want. We become a dictatorship. Declare the climate crisis a national emergency and start marshalling resources towards addressing this challenge and restore the balance and competition by prioritizing strong anti-monopoly protections and enforcement. It is, we are headed for a depression if these get done. A depression. 